Yes. <coughs> All right, so we have uh, Alvaro on the right, and we have uh, Michael on the, on the left. Now get a little closer to the mic. So what you, if you want to watch, you want to stay in the green to yellow zone, right, when you're talking. Um, you're a little bit too red, it's going to get a little choppy. So like I like to, I like to use this as like a, like a distometer, in a way, a measurement device. So it looks like we have a, a Ness and a Lucina here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Alvaro is the Ness player. And uh, Nick, w or, yeah, Nick, right? Is the Lucina Nick yeah. N I K E, but for some reason his name is N I E. <laughs> yeah. How do you how do you say his name? Do you know? I, uh, I think it's Me. Me. Something Nee like that. or Nai? It's definitely not English at that yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, looks like the Ness has started off with uh, getting most damage on the Lucina up to 51, 30 cents. Pretty even up to this point. Yeah. Oh, we got a miss down smash by there with punish. Oh, nice up tilt by Lucina. We tried to follow up with the back air. Ness said, nah, bro, I'm going to hit you with that uh, that back air instead. Uh, whiffed the uh, PK fire, got hit out of it. So we're seeing a lot of whiff punishes now, now with the Lucina, yeah. a lot of good tilts. Oh, uh, bad roll. You just got punished by that. Yes. Uh, you will see that the, this nest loves to roll. Oh, nice tilt. What I'm liking about this, this Lucina, is the, the use of tilts. Oh, Ooh. first stock taken <laughs> by me. That was dirty. Yeah. And this is, uh, by the way, number three versus number four on the system. Really? And our, and our power rankings. Uh, Nick is number three, and Alvaro is number four on the power ranking. And this is for, of course, our club, the Pop Culture Club. Oh. So oh, that's something to watch out there. PKF. That was risky, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But if it had hit it, that would have been kind of swagger. Although, oh goodness. Oh, got him with the up beat. Yep, that was good. That was good. He oh, followed the dirty him. Taunt. Did he? Yeah. Did he? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. the tr the, you know what the, one of the truest combos in the game is with taunt? Have you ever heard of the, the, the truest taunt combo? No. You have I, no idea what it is? No. It's taunt to get three stocked. <laughs> 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 it, it might happen. So if you notice, every time the uh, Lucina grabs the nest, yeah. right? We're, we're talking low because like they, we don't want them to hear us. But every time we see that Lucina grab the nest, he throws him, down throws him. The nest always falls with an aerial. Really? So if you watch, if, if the Lucina is paying attention, oh, he saved the Lucina there. Yeah. Um, Lucina Standing. should be jumping, sh like doing shorter jumps. Wait, see right there? He, he threw out an aerial. Get underneath them, right? Oh, you shouldn't have got hit by that. You should never get hit by that. Oh, so he short hopped over it. That was good, but he didn't fast fall his neutral air, so he couldn't get the punish on that with the, with the, the Lucina. All right, nice tilt, nice tilt. So what do you see so far? Well, I'm watch this. Well, so far I see that the um, Lucina definitely, definitely in an advantage right here. Well, actually, oh. I mean disadvantage. Did you see that drift in? Yeah, the, the, the nest recovered. He was going towards the edge, drifted away towards it, and drifted back towards the edge. So he's he's not punishing this Ness's recovery. He saw, he knew he was going to. Re oh look, he read the roll, yeah, but he, he didn't read. punish properly. Oh goodness, lots of rolls, lots of rolls. So what he needs to do, if he knows this roll is coming, Shouldn't maybe just stand that. still and forward smash. Oh, game one taken by Alvaro. And with a taunt. Again. Another yeah. taunt. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen now. He's We're tilting his opponent. Okay. Smart. Yes, he is, right? <laughs> yeah, I love the taunts. Although, if you taunt and lose, oh, <laughs> God. All right, so we're banning stages now. Tournament rules state that after the winner, um, after you when you win, you ban two stages, and we're using Frostbite 2019 stages. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know like? So it's the Ness's turn, right? So what do you think you're looking for uh, to ban versus like a Lucina or a sword character? What do you think? Mm, I think definitely stages for platforms if you get put on top of a platform. Sure, platforms are good for, for any sword character. How does Lucina mainly kill? How does, uh, off the sides or off the top? I believe off the sides. Right. I mean, those edge so you want to get rid of the si with the stages with large with small sides, yeah. but you want to leave stages like Caleb's because they have a very large stage, right? So yeah. I would not ban either one of those two. So Alvaro, which two stages did you ban? Uh, can you tell them how? I can't. He banned Lilat and uh, I forgot what else. Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon. So Kalos. Yeah. So you banned Lila and Kalos. I can see Lilat. I think that would be one of their best stages, actually. That's great. But I was, I'm with you. I would have banned the Tripods, yeah. Battlefield, or actually, you know what? I would have banned Yoshi's Story as small edges. Yeah. Right. So if I'm if I'm Lucina, I'm going 
Yoshi's Story right now, or Yoshi's Island Brawl. Like those two have that two. Yep, like see, that's yeah, that's what I'm going this. towards, right? It has that small edges, has the platforms. I the problem if both is, were performing this matchup. Well, it's the same matchup. Well, they picked the stage, and now Alvaro gets to pick his character, and he's probably going to stay Ness because that's who Alvaro uses. Yep, unless obviously. he wants. I think he has another character that he's been using lately. Uh, what has it been? Lucas. Lucas. Yes. Yes, Lucas. Lucas. Oh. But his Lucas, I don't think is um, good enough yet. So oh, that's why he's. We have a character change. Uh oh. Now back in the brawl days, I said this was Pikachu's worst matchup. You know what has changed since then? What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is Pikachu's worst matchup. We'll see though. Pikachu has more mobility in this game and more grab combos and potential in this game than Brawl. I say that, but then Pikachu had like zero to one hundred grab combos in Brawl, so I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm see? seeing a lot of rolls. Yeah, lots I was just of about rolls. To say that myself, so. Oh, nice, nice DI out of that. He got hit by the PK fire, and the Pikachu immediately. Snapped out of it. Oh, no. Oh, nice grab follow up. I like the up throw. And looking wow. for that, those it's hard reads. At 84%. Yeah, this Ness is racking all that damage real quick, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the triple combo. Up air to, uh, I said up tilt, up air to forward air by Pikachu. Now it's 68% Ness. Ooh, and God. death to Pikachu. Three stocks to two. Honestly, Pikachu. I'm surprised you didn't see that coming. I'm surprised too. I wonder if I could use a pun on you guys right now and say it's Ness versus Pika 2. <laughs> <laughs> they are awful, people. They are awful. Pika 2 would not be with 3. I mean, it could be if he had 3 stocks, but he has 2 stocks right now, bro. Come on. So, Ness is now up to 98%. You know, he's getting into that, those higher kill percents. We do have a little bit of rage mechanics going on here. Down smash is not going to kill. Opposite end of the stage, put him in disadvantage there. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, trying to match. Oh up, my uh, goodness! Wow. wow. Couldn't get out of there. Ness is like, bro. I went. I've been training with Bryce Harper, so like, he just signed a three hundred million dollar contract. Where's my contract? <laughs> you know, I actually found a very easy way to get out of the, the PK fire. What's that? You don't even have to match if you just da you can just dash out of it. Yeah. Yeah. You can just dash out and it's a down and out like diagonally down and out, right? Yeah. And you can get out of it like instantly. super quick. Yeah, like instantly. But I think also what people don't realize is this, that is the moment it hits you, you have to press out because if that second hit hits you, then you're stuck in it for another. Oh, is this gonna be a zero to death? And this isn't gonna be zero. Zero death would mean that he takes him from oh, zero to yeah. death, not like he's at zero and kills him. Oh yeah. That that doesn't make any sense, yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Did you know that we had oh JV three? Well, that was a that was a nice display of uh, of Ness powers there by Mr. Alvaro himself. I did not see a lot of down air spikes off the edge by Pikachu. Pikachu wins this matchup by edge guarding, not by a neutral. Neutral game's on the stage, right? Yes. Does not win by that neutral game. He wins by getting Ness off the stage, and edge guarding off the stage, getting above Ness as he's recovering, hitting him with down air, throwing out a thunder jolt, get that second jump. I didn't see none of that by the Pikachu. He was not ready for this. Yeah. So I think we have another matchup coming. Who is next? I think it's Max versus Chrisabel. Oh wow, we have a Ganondorf versus an Isabel. Well, oh, maybe. 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 Um, do you guys want to go ahead and get down on the sticks? All right. Hopefully our talking doesn't bother you guys too much. You're more than welcome to put in headphones and listen. Um, we're going to be making jokes, cracking, you know, you know, <laughs> during the match. Um, right now, um, we don't have a camera. We'll get a camera. I actually do have a camera we could actually install and, and put here, um, which would be kind of neat. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have the ability to do that. We should do that in the future. Yeah show the players um so that was three versus four all right so when when we watched that matchup right that last matchup in both and in the first one nick started off super strong right and then alvaro decided I like his mentality kind of broke after he lost that first match that's actually exactly where i was getting at yeah. and you saw it too right yeah he stopped like punishing he just put himself into bad situations. Yeah. And you know what this comes down to? Nerves. 
tournament nerves, knowing your strategy and sticking to it. Yeah. I keep telling these guys, what's the only stock that matters? The first one. The last oh, one. The, last the one. only stock that I matters is the last one. You know why we say that? So that way when you're finally in tournament, that's the, it happened, remember what happened to him? He got killed just ridiculously early with his Lucina. It tilted him. Yeah. I needed that stock, right? No, you don't. Because what's the only one that matters? <laughs> the, last the last one. Like, like I, I think of the first two as, like, you know what? Those are free. Those are for me to swagger. But when I hit that last stock, bro, like, it's time for you to go I'm done. Like, my, my switch has been turned on. I have now clamped up. I've cleaned up. I've, I've, I've taken control, right? Now, let's say you're in tournament, like these guys are, right? And let's say you're playing me, and I've got you down to your last stock, and I got my, I'm still my first stock, high percent. Right? It's highly unlikely that you're going to win against a good player, right? Because they're thinking the same thing. You, what you need to be thinking is, how much can I clean up right now that I can transfer over to the next game? Oh, it looks like they've started here on oh, Battlefield. Oh, yes. Okay, so they, they striked to Battlefield. That's interesting. What do you think about that strike? Um, I think it's kind of weird. I feel like Ganondorf leaves a lot more room. I feel like Battlefield may be a bit small. Well, let's say... Let's assume that uh, Ganondorf lost the uh, the rock, paper, scissors, right? Isabel probably would get rid of uh, the smaller side. I would say probably probably Pokemon's. No, you know what? Isabel likes that space, so probably the small stage, either I would say FD or Ooh, Smashville. Edge guarded there. Yeah, that's gross. That's how you beat Ganon. You have to edge guard him, right? Try not to play that war of attrition, meaning don't try to play the percent game. Yeah. I, I would say that the um, Ganondorf probably banned uh, Lilat, and I would probably also imagine that he banned Pokemon Stadium, too. He got rid of those large stages, mm -hmm. and that would make sense. And then there was probably a choice between Battlefield and FD. Now, I would rather have platforms as Isabel. Yeah. And that's probably how the stage striking process went. Oh, nice punish there by the side B. Although, I would have preferred to do a side B at that case. Really? Yeah, you know, the reason for that is because you know you're not going to kill her at that percentage unless you get a smash, right? Yes. Um, and, and she was also on the left side and would have gotten hit towards the right, as you see, like, right there. It's not going to kill her from that far, right? I would have side beat, and then I would have gone for the nasty kill like that one right there, forward smash. Oh, my God, that was nice. Right, I would have yeah. side beat, and then I would have, like, jumped or would have tried to tech read into a kill, right, instead of just down being and getting a guaranteed kill sometime or guaranteed damage. Like at higher percent, especially like Ganondorf. When you hit like 70, 80, you should be looking for that one read that gives you that nice kill. Unless you feel there's not, like, if you feel that your neutral is better than hers. Yeah, but that was a nice recovery there. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he saw the, the fishing rod the, and he upbeat over it. Yep. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. That early kill, right? What did I say? 70, 80%. What was she out there when she got hit? 70, 80%. Yeah, 70, 80%, right? He went for that, that, that forward smash. You know how hard it is to avoid that force mess sometimes, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, we are we're seeing some good play here, right? <laughs> they aren't playing like numbers two. Well, like she is, she's playing like number two. But man, this number seven is not playing like seven. He's playing like he came here to play some some ball, man. Oh my. Did you see that? Yeah. I didn't know terms were that powerful, man. I might have to start eating some. Nice. He went for the oh, guaranteed damage at that point. For the early kill. Oh, my shield broke. Oh, she was going for that, that read. You know, that might have been a little bit too early, that forward smash read yeah. there. But that was good, though. Oh, nice fishing rod. Oh, oh they're back to even. Oh! oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Going for the read. Oh. Oh. Which way is she going? Oh, she made it. That's interesting. That was that was, that was a nice mix-up. I did not see it. Did you see that coming? Yeah, I didn't think she was going to do that myself. Oh! Now, how do you kill Ganon? Edge, you edge guard him. Edge nice. Guard. That was a good match. I, I really appreciate that match. That was good. Honestly, I didn't think um, Isabel's forward air did that much, like, the, not bad. Okay, so with the forward air, right, and, and back air, you have to understand that when she releases it, like, there's, like, a zone of proximity that's really close to her. Mm -hmm. If you get hit by, like, when, when you're super close, it has a high, high, high knockback. But the farther away it gets, the less knockback it has. So what you're saying is Isabel has a sweet spot. Oh, absolutely, it has a sweet spot and sour spot. Did you know that Peach's turnips, when she throws them, the farther they go, the more damage it does? Really? Yeah. I have no idea. I learned that recently, too. Wow, so it's kind of like, they, it's like that character pushes you to space. That's right. So, like, when, when you're off stage and she throws that turnip at you, it just got more dangerous. Wow. 
I'm not sure if that applies to stitches, though. I think stitches have that set count, but I could be completely wrong. Oh, wow. Wow. Counterpick to two. I do like the stages Ganon, though. The, the, I feel like the platform's a little bit wider than Battlefield, but the smaller edges are easier to kill off of. She's trying to edge for a Ganon there. And yeah, edge. overextended, right? Yeah. The Ganondorf got to the edge quickly. Oh, not, he's, he's, getting, he's hitting these downbees a lot. Oh! Yeah. I feel that over here. <laughs> my seat is like vibrating. I felt that in my knee, actually. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's a AC, it's a, we, what happened to my ACL? It, it got tore for some reason. As I was watching Ganondorf. Oh, oh God, I didn't. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, she neutral aired. And that's that oh, and because he down smashed, he lowered his hitbox. And f she fell for uh, it. I taught to get body. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the, the truest combo in the game. <laughs> that's not to be confused with the best combo in the game. Do you know what that one is? Yeah, you just said it earlier, right? No, 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 no. I said the truest combo the, the, is taunt to get bodied. What's the what's the 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 best combo? I don't know, Mr. Gavin. You don't know what the best combo is in the game? Shower and soap, man. What? People what? need to know this. What? The best no. combo of all time is shower and soap. You know how many so people don't... I bet if I did a little poll here right now, and all the people here, there's at least two people that didn't shower on soap today. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I'm looking at you guys with judgmental eyes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I look away, and Gandorf now is at one. Ooh! Wow. I did not know. So that was a situation where you got to tech that. Yeah. In this game, it works. The teching is the easiest, I think, in any game I've ever seen in this game to tech. Tech means you hold the shield button down while you're landing. Now, in this game, you can actually hold it down within, like, 5 to 10 frames before landing. So you can click hold it, and it will tech it. Mm -hmm. That means you can roll out of it. So if he had teched... Oh! Ooh, I want to see it. I want to see the Warlock Punch. Yes! <laughs> I feel like a soccer guy right now. Goal! <laughs> I, I feel like no matter what happens after here, Ganondorf gets a W. Yeah. Style points. You know how, like, in some games, like, you actually win by getting points? Uh, do you think that he got a little greedy with that up tilt? Or did he maybe do, like, a try to do an up smash or something? Um, I think he just got greedy with the up tilt. I couldn't see that he wanted it. Because he actually did it twice because he messed up the first time. Mm. Ganondorf points. Ganondorf Second points. matchup. Now, I am banning Lilat and Pokemon Stadium 2. Actually, no, FD. No, no, no. I would think I would do those, too. Yeah, yeah. Lilad and, and uh, Pokemon Stadium, too. Very large, large stages. I'm not trying to... I want up close and personal. I, want, I don't want Isabel to have the space. Right? I want to pressure her as Ganondorf. And so then if I was Isabel, I would choose probably either Battlefield... Or Kalos. Looks like they're gonna go back to battlefield. Back to battlefield, man. We'd be Nostradamus over here. <laughs> All right, this is good. This we got game three. We have a match. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm interested to see who won the other matchup with Malik versus Mike. Mike, you won. What was the score? Two one. Okay. I was Marth and he won. Corin. Marth and Corin, like we practiced. No, we practiced this season. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I can land some. No, it's more than What is Ganondorf same doing? Thing. I have no idea. I think that was a missed input. That definitely had to have been a missed input. You did, I'm glad you won, though. Got a double under your belt. Oh, nice. So uh, that's something that Ganon is so good at, right? When he hits your shield, he has a lot of shield stun and it can jab you or forward tilt you out of it. Like right there, once again, jabbed and or forward tilted. Oh, oh. That was, that was risky. That was yeah. super risky. Uh, have you, I've seen that combo quite a bit, actually, by the Isabel at this point. Uh, uh, forward air to forward air to, to dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> forward air, forward air, dash attack, once <laughs> again, again, right? So you, if you keep getting hit by it, you got to stop putting yourself in the position to get hit by it or uh, develop a different strategy, which it's hard to do that on the fly against a decent As opponent. As a cannon, what would you do to get out of that? Uh, down B or roll behind. Yeah, but that's hard because his mobility is limited, right? You really gotta. Again, is like one of those like hit it and quit it type dudes, right? Like yeah. he wants to get in and get out and get that powerful hit. 
and then or get that pressure, get that oh, forward smash read. It looks like not coming back from that. Nah, probably not. I don't know why she went out there. She just took damage unnecessarily. Probably just like overextending that. She probably wanted to down air. Yeah. Say, I'm not gonna gimp you, I'm gonna kill you. Which that's cool, that's cool, that's what you wanna do. Um, even though like it's three to two stocks. Oh my goodness. The balloons just delayed the hitbox. Yeah, they do. Oh, she might not make it. She did. Oh my goodness! Once again, now that time the balloons worked against him. If the balloon, yep, up air, free up air. If that balloon wasn't there, it would have killed her on that up. So now we got a pretty even match. Two stocks versus two stocks. <gasps> Jab locked. Or in this case, dash attack lock. Wow. From zero to seventy, real quick. Well, it was like fifteen, right? To seventy. To eighty-one. Wow. This this Isabel is going off. Yeah, we both know that Ganon can easily make this damage up in like two hits. Yeah. And that's only if Ganon's feeling that's nice. That's true. Oh, there's one. Oh! There's two. Oh! Three, three jabs in a row. looking for that forward smash on the edge. He is. And this. She's going over to the other side. Oh, wow. It's just not breaking that shield, you know? Yeah. Maybe she's yeah. saving her shield. She yeah. knows that he wants that forward smash. A nice spacing on that. She's just jumping right outside of his zone. Wow, that that the balloon keeps Yeah, oh, her. he didn't see the plant there. Got him. Now if he gets hit by that one more time, it's gonna kill him. Yeah. So he's really got a trying to bait him over. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Uh, two stocks to one. Sixty one to zero. Isabel's starting to work. Get to work again after he's get that kill. Oh look, she's she's just applying so much pressure to the Ganon now. Yeah. Oh, it was supposed to be turn around up smash. That would have been nice. Oh my goodness. It just it feels like an oppressive regime right Ooh, now. Like, the there. We're gonna have to start calling Isabel Putin here with that. <laughs> oh the kick to the face. Now there is also bad DI in that, right? Yeah. She definitely DI'd to the left there. Yeah, hey, DI left her down. Maybe trying to do like a spot dodge and got caught or something like that. Yeah. Oh, look, Ganon. Ganon sees it. And he tried to down beat through it. Oh, goodness. Tried to read the roll. Tried to read it. But yeah. she saw it. She said, I'm going to get up tag it. You do have invincibility on your get up. But if you delay it, you don't have it. I think you actually you do. I think you still get frames when you first uh, delay it. Yeah, but nice. Nice. Oh, this is close. This is close. Oh my goodness, this is anybody's game right now. Anything anything can kill. Anybody. <gasps> oh my goodness. And that oh, wow. is game. Ganon. Like you said, the only stock that matters is the that's, last That's one. right. He was down two stocks to one. And you can see throughout that whole game, his mentality did not break at all. No, he kept the same strategy. Get the hits, get in, get out. He didn't worry. He didn't get tilted. He got comboed. Sure, that's part of the matchup, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that was int that was exciting. All right. Well, that's it for the lunch special. Mm -hmm. Good matches. Yeah, they were. Really all good. right. Really we had, uh, this is uh, Gab's on the mic, by the way. We also had... Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's about to yeah. say your name, bro. Um, we'll be back.